Good morning, everybody. How about this? A dry picture of the Storm Team 10 Fury radar finally not showing some rain. We had some rain and uh, severe thunderstorms rolled back through Friday night. A few leftover sprinkles, light rain showers Saturday morning. Ended up being a nice Saturday afternoon, a good Sunday. Here we go. Nothing uh, showing up on the Storm Team 10 Fury radar at this time. Vigo County Credit Union Tower Cam with a uh, quiet uh, well, radar image. We've got a quiet sky picture as well. So the uh, Tower Cam is showing us a beautiful sunrise this morning. It's 39 degrees. And wait a minute, that's cool. Cool, right? Yeah, it's a little bit chilly. Winds are calm. We've got clear skies. And again, it is going to be a little bit cool this morning. We've got essentially a frost advisory in effect. I'll explain that in just one second, but let's run through some numbers. 39, 39, and 35. Paris, Terre Haute, and Bloomington. 43 in Robinson. 39 in Effingham. And again, it's a little bit on the chilly side. Just a few days left for school kids. I know you've asked some of you got a week, two weeks, maybe as much as three weeks, but nonetheless, we're counting the days down out of the bus stops this morning. It's going to be chilly. All right, a frost advisory. Back to that. What that means is that temperatures in a few areas are going to drop to about 35 degrees. We've already seen that in Bloomington. Again, upper 30s in Terre Haute, upper 30s even in Paris. National Weather Service in Illinois is not throwing out any advisories just yet, but until 8 a.m. Eastern Time, some frost is going to be possible. Not a lot of widespread frost, but again, a few areas of patchy frost not out of the question. You'll need to know that uh, for plants and things like that, but in all honesty, it doesn't look like it's going to be a killing frost and shouldn't give us too much trouble. Sunny and pleasant. Back to the forecast for today. Clear sky. It's going to be beautiful out there. Again, cool this morning. Take a light jacket as you head out and about, but 67, not bad this afternoon. And with winds out of the southeast, it'll feel like 67. Yesterday, uh, we topped out in the 60s, but with the winds uh, at times out of the north, it was a little bit cool out there. All in all, we've got a great day in store for you today. Average high, by the way, is mid-70s. We'll get there as quickly as tomorrow. A few clouds back out to the west. Going to have a hard time moving off to the east because we've got an area of high pressure and control here. Plus, there's another one back out to uh, the southwestern United States. And what that's going to do is fight off these clouds here, fight off any real chances for rain, and fight off any areas of low pressures that are trying to move in from Canada, which is what has been rolling through the past couple of weeks here. Hey, there are your rain showers from the weekend. i tell you what, a slow-moving system, but that's kind of good news for us because that backs things up, and that keeps those two areas of high pressure I talked about, kind of keeps them here. The longer they're here, the drier our weather is, the longer our stretch of dry weather is. So let's start talking about that dry stretch of weather. Of course, it's been dry since Saturday afternoon. Uh, it was dry yesterday, upper 60s this afternoon with winds coming out of the southeast. And notice that area of high pressure as it's close by, keeps us sunny. Also, now that it's off just to the east of us, we get our winds out of the southeast with wind spinning clockwise around that area of high pressure. Okay, we go through the entire day today and again quiet. Uh, overnight, quiet, but with clear skies, it's going to be cool again. Not the 30s like we've got, but mid 40s with winds out of the south. That's that's what's going to keep us a little bit mild with that area of high pressure close by. Watch your clock up here. This takes us into tomorrow afternoon. Another nice day. So we're going to be in upper 60s today. Mid to upper 60s, that is. Mid 70s tomorrow. Winds out of the south. High pressure still close. Sunny skies still in the forecast. We get all the way in now into Wednesday morning. Clear skies. Not 30s, not 40s. 50s, lower 50s outside. So winds will be out of the south again Wednesday morning. Sunny skies expected. And again, nothing really moving in. That high pressure back out of the southwest uh, over portions of Utah and Arizona, that's going to be sliding off eastward. That's what's going to keep us dry for the next couple of days as well. So we've really got a nice little stretch of dry weather trying to work in here. Hey, and honestly, anytime we can get a dry day, a dry hour, a dry minute, we're happy around here. So 67, dry, sunny and pleasant. No rain in your forecast today. Tonight down to 45, still cool. Most of the clear skies again this evening. We may get a cloud or two, but back to being sunny tomorrow, a high of 76 degrees, seven day forecast, 80s Wednesday and Thursday. And then it gets a little bit cooler, but all in all, just a couple degrees that is. Still above average Friday and through the weekend. And right now, Abby, just don't see anything that's going to bring rain to us before the weekend and even after the weekend for that matter. Uh, we may see a week and a half here of some dry weather, which would be very welcome. I'm glad.